after we pushed back cap and trade a couple of years ago, and this is the reason I say the government is like Jabba the Hutt. Is that better? The reason why the government is like Jabba the Hutt is think about the EPA. They now have a plan to impose cap and trade upon all the power plants across our nation. The people said no, but what has the government done? They've come back and they're going to try to put more taxes on the, on the power which we enjoy in our homes. That is a tax. And it takes away your right to be able to do business. It takes away your ability as a family to be able to provide for your family members. It's something that we must stand up against. Then I think about our state government and what our state government's done. I have an example back in my district where MoDOT clearly made the decision which had a negative impact on the number of business owners on a road in which they built. And despite the business owners going to them and saying, you're going to have a negative impact on our business, rather than building the road straight, which where it was, they decided to put a curve around that road. And no matter what we said to MoDOT commissioners at that time, the directors of MoDOT, they ignored us, and now almost every single business on that road is no longer there today because of our state government. But I had an example yesterday, or two days ago, I was visiting with another bureaucrat in our state. They're getting ready to make one single action which is going to close the doors of a business here in our state, and it's essentially going to cause this business owner to go bankrupt. This business owner said, I want to work with you, I want to figure out what we're doing, and yet this government bureaucrat does not care. And here's the irony, they've done nothing wrong. It's just the arbitrary decision of the government to come into the way we run our businesses, the way we run our life, to try to take away our natural right, I think, that we have to be able to run our businesses as we best see fit. And that's why I think that we've got to take that stronger stand. And in the, uh, hang on a second, my notes got lost here. All right. I think there are three main ingredients that we have to have to begin to restore our rights. And the first one I am a firm believer in is the restoration of our private property rights. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Because if you think about it, I don't know if y'all, have you ever studied the Index of Economic Freedom? Oh, yeah. One of the main premises of the index of economic freedom is that you have to be able to have the right to your property to be able to earn a better living.